and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be looking at Boxy the Box Cat and Evolution Escapades. This is one of those LD24 games that I really wanted to show off, and I just didn't get around to it, because it's just absolutely adorable and kind of just charming and cute and just fun in general. And, you know, games are supposed to be fun. At least that's what I've heard a few times. Uh, I have actually played this one all the way through, because it's pretty short, and we're going to play it all the way through again. I'm sure you won't mind, though. I mean, the whole thing is going to take about five minutes. So you've got kittens here. They're very unfortunately quite hungry, and you're a boxy cat. And you've got to... Let's see, there's a description on the site here. It says, Survive, and in this urban landscape, which is littered with radioactive waste, and protect your kittens. Features. Kittens. Nuclear evolution. Top hats. And melons. So, uh, I was thinking as soon as I started this, one of the things that really the cats needed most were electric guitars and top hats, so... We found a tiny top hat. It actually looks just like the one from Badass Locomotive, which is pretty badass. So, I'm playing this on Congregate right now, and, um... Thankfully, Fraps actually works in Congregate. It's, uh, rare, but I guess I can grab the plug-in container. Uh, since this is... Uh, one of those DirectX Unity games, which we run into so often. I actually had a few people tell me that they don't like Unity, and that was surprising to me. A little unfortunate. So I found out after uh, wandering around for a pretty long time at first, you just want to go near all these barrels, and then you evolve right then and there. Uh, I love the music, by the way. I listened to it for way longer than I should have when I was playing this, and then I actually left it on in the tab in the background for a while. Which is uh, saying something, because I heard it loop of, like a, a dozen or three dozen times when I was playing it the first time. That actually looks sort of like a mini submarine, but it's a fishy. Oh, crap, where'd it go? Did I catch it? It just went away. I'm not sure that's what's supposed to happen. Did my kittens get the fishy? Let's go back and check. It's really funny how delightful such a simple premise can be. Alright, that one's got a top hat. I don't see any fish, though. Crap. Did I get a bug? I think I might have. Fish. What have you done? Alright, well, I guess I'll reload it then. Thankfully, that happened right at the beginning, so not a huge deal. Matias Sarzeki. Thank you for making a bizarre and fun game. And for an uh, LD game, it's actually a little bit longer than some are. Uh, there's actually a little bit of walking around to do. Plus, I just like the idea of being a boxy cat. I mean, I'm a big proponent of Maru and stuff, so cats and boxes, I mean, they go really well together. I have to go at the uh, gills again for that. And it's got totally non-linear action and gameplay, because you can go to the different barrels whenever you want, mostly. Pretty wild. I bet this game was kind of fun to make, actually, too. I don't know about making the models and stuff, but, like, designing the, the areas and what your cat gets to do and stuff seemed probably like it would be pretty fun to me. I would enjoy making a, a brief little exploration game like this once. Alright, fish. There we go. So that'll teach me for standing in the water for no reason. It's like a little car. He just sort of moves around, just hovers along the bottom and stuff. He just sticks to the bottom of that water. He didn't even try to swim. He's good. Oh, there's a lot of barrels here. I wonder what's up with the city. Oh, I've got uh, self-illumination. One of the things that I don't think actually comes into play. You actually end up getting like more powers than you need in this, which is kind of funny. Some of them are just uh, like superfluous over-the-top stuff. I've evolved a stabilizing tail. It just looks like a pencil to me. Oh, that makes this look kind of funny. Um, what's this one give us? Laser eyes are awesome. Let's shoot something. Oh, does that not... Oh, that doesn't work. Hey, I found an awesome guitar. Alright, I guess I gotta switch over from the controller back to the keyboard. Let's 
uh, yeah, you can blow up all the cars and go crazy. Can't blow up these barrels though, can you? You kind of need those. Oh, you can. I wonder if you can, like, screw up your game by doing that. That'll teach you barrels. Someone should really clean up those. What's this one give us? I have evolved super legs! Yeah, there's actually not really a lot of reasons to jump in this either. Nor are there really good reason reasons to... Oh, I'm now more than a cat. The time has come to reproduce. Somewhere a lonely soul is looking for you. I kind of feel like more than a cat. I feel part cat, part boxy. Can I jump up to this? Yeah, I can. Hey, I found a toy mouse. I don't think I got that the other time. I want to make the kittens happy. Those kittens really, I mean, they have kind of a rough life. When they live in a city like this. I mean, at least the cars aren't going anywhere, because that could be a problem with all the walking in the road we've been doing. Is this the first barrels area? Yeah, it is. Ha, ah, screw you barrels. Oh, I can back up like a truck. I'm glad I have the stabilizing tail. That makes everything much easier. How are the kittens doing? Let's check in on them. Alright, one of them's hungry. Hey, that's not true. We're not hungry, just the one is. You got a guitar. Don't be hungry. He's got a top hat and a fish. He's looking pretty fly. Alright, let's keep looking around. Uh, still a whole bunch of barrels we didn't go to yet. Now that we have the ability to shoot lasers out of our eyes, we can actually go right through there. I'm such a sucker for games about, like, cats and cubes. Colorful crap. It is, like, all of them. It's got everything in one. If you're an aspiring indie dev and you want to have your game be covered on Indie Impressions one day, follow this simple formula. Hey, another top hat. Create a game based around abstract exploration and cubes and colors. Look at all these cars. They're all, like, varying sizes. Oh, they've got to go. Hey, another fish. The other kitty's hungry, so let's give that to him. Yay! Oh, It's a... kind of a silly cat right there. It's like shooting love bolts out of its head. If I have more kittens, better find your nest. You're a nice kitty. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> no, we're not gonna go there. This is a family program. So, what's left to do? Uh, any more superpowers we can come across? It's kind of too bad, like, I would have liked to see this even go further. Like, where can you go after this, like, open up a wall and then go out into a bigger area? It could be like Katamari Damacy, and then by the end you're just exploring a whole planet. Did I go back behind this? I don't think I did. No, I see barrels back there. It's the second electric guitar or something? Oh, it's the melons! Cats eat melons, right? I think I've tried to give my cat a melon. I don't think he's too keen on it. Just like a little bit of watermelon or something? I don't think he's he's into that stuff at all. He just like little, you know, strips of meat, mostly. With uh, various gravies and things. He's pretty picky, actually. He really likes certain foods, and he really doesn't like other foods. So, what does Boxy Cat like to eat? What would a Boxy Cat even want? Well, I guess he wants electric guitars and fish for his kittens. And, um... Mouse toy... And a companion, I guess. I think that's pretty much everything there is to grab in this wonderful adventure. So if we go back here, 
We can see his little area has been decked out with his melon and his multiple fishes, and both kittens have little top hats, and they're adorable, and they can play electric guitar solos. And here's the ending. Thus, the new race of super felines reigned over humanity with their mighty laser vision. The end. Meow meow, nom nom. So, I know, it's a really short episode, I'm sorry, I, I, I just needed to show you guys this, it's too silly not to. Needed to be inducted into the Hall of Indie Impressions glory. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope maybe you'll uh, check out some stuff by Matthias. And uh, maybe even try this one out. I mean, it's on Congregate. You can try it right now. I'll put the link in the description. It's kind of cool that there's so many games you can just play in your browser now with the, the Unity web player and stuff. Like, I mean, Flash was great for that in the past, but it seems like this is so much more sophisticated most of the time. Although it's not like I can put down Flash too much. I mean, Binding of Isaac was done in Flash and a bunch of other great things that I've played. So, yeah, it's good too, but I like Unity myself. So there is our Master Race of Kitties, and I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you remember to head on over to the website, which is www.indie-impressions.com. Check out all the videos I've ever recorded, all sequentially ordered and set up so you can sort them by distribution and all that good stuff. I'm sure you've probably been there by now. You joined the forums and met all the cool indie dudes and gals that we have showing up. Dudes and gals, I don't know. I don't know what kind of thing that is to say, but you know what I mean. And then the uh, facebook.com slash indie impressions. I also post every night's video over on there, so if you want to get some nice indie impressions videos showing up in your Facebook feed, that would be the way to do it. And feel free to comment on those videos as well if you'd like. I also do uh, contests sometimes through there, as well as, you know, on the... Uh, the Twitter and the, the Reddit and all of those crazy things. But yeah, Twitter, at Rockley Smile and at Indie Impression. Feel free to follow me, suggest games, and uh, just chat me up if you want to talk. Always happy to discuss what other crazy crap you found out in the world of indie games. There's endless amounts of it. So that's going to do it for today. Make sure you come back again tomorrow because I do one of these videos every single day. Another new indie game and another chance at finding a pretty sweet hidden gem. You notice I try not to use the word gem too much because I know that it gets overused a lot, so that's, that's just my personal opinion, but um, I, I don't think a lot of games can be considered gems because that's a silly thing to say, but you know what I mean. It's just like, some games are way better and some of them just get like no press at all and I just want to do what I can to get the word out, so if you guys want to find out about cool games, I'm here to tell you about them, so make sure you stop back as often as possible and integrate yourself into this little wonderful group we've made here. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have a lovely night, and I'll see you later.